This is Sir Eustace's safe. There may be something important inside. I must ask Lady Brackenstall to open it. This photograph of Lady Brackenstall and her maid Teresa was taken at a port, but which one? So the lady and her maid came from Australia a year and a half ago on this ship. The description of the Randall gang provided by Lady Brackenstall is identical to the one in the Times article. Teresa, I would like to hear your testimony. Certainly, sir. As I sat by my bedroom window, I saw three men in the moonlight down by the lodge gate. But I thought nothing of it at the time. Oh, if I'd known. And then? I went to bed, and it was more than an hour after that I heard my mistress scream. And down I ran, to find her tied to the chair and him on the floor with his head smashed. That's all I know. Lady Brackenstall, could you open this wall safe? No, it is my husband's safe. I do not know the combination. 
We have to open it. Your ladyship? Let us try to open this safe. This safe can be cracked. I only have to pay attention. The dial will vibrate when it is set to the correct number. It is common practice to keep one's valuables in a safe behind a painting. It should not really pose a challenge for a criminal. Antique coins, possibly of value, but they're scattered without care. Sir Eustace's doctor speaks of his violent behaviour. Yes, Sir Eustace was an extremely violent man. A detestable human being, to be more precise. It is true that he once threw a decanter at me, and all because I dared to stand up to him in defence of my mistress. Sly devil. God forgive me that I should speak of him so now that he's dead. But a devil he was, if ever one walked the earth. We met him only 18 months ago. She'd only just arrived in London. Yes, it was her first voyage. She'd never been from home before. One her with his title and his money and his false London ways. If she made a mistake, she has paid for it, if ever a woman did. She doesn't have any friends here, so it was specially hard for her.
Oh, what a horrible thing to have happened. Sir Warthen Brackenstall. Lord Brigham Brackenstall. Lord Ramsay Brackenstall. Baron Linden Brackenstall. Lord George Brackenstall. The Brackenstall family seems rather austere. What do you know about Sir Eustace, Inspector? What was his reputation? A charming man when sober, but an absolute demon when he was drunk. In such moments, he was apparently capable of anything. Why, once he splashed fuel on Lady Brackenstall's dog and set it alight. Another day, he threw a decanter of wine at Miss Wright's head. Hmm, the alcohol seemed to madden him. To the point that we were forced to intervene several times to avoid a scandal. The body is still in the dining room where the murder took place. You should examine the body of Sir Eustace Brackenstall. So, Watson, what have you learned from examining Sir Eustace's body? Well, I can confirm that the death was instant. Sir Eustace was facing his attacker when he received the blow to his head. There are no other apparent injuries. Hunter scene. A trapper's hut. A trapper's hut. A hunting scene. A hunter's cabin. Antique hunting weapons. This glass has some wine traces, but no visible beeswing. There is beeswing at the bottom, as if the wine had not been decanted before being poured. This glass has some wine traces, but no visible beeswing. It is rather strange that only one of these glasses has dregs of bees wing inside it, while the other two are clear. Chateau Calon Ségur, French wine, Grand Cru. A decanter standing next to the open bottle, an inseparable pair indeed. Sailor's knot. That's interesting. This rope was handled by the murderers. We need a scent hound to follow their trail. I will take it with me.
This is the chair that Lady Brackenstall was tied to. This candlestick is valuable. It is interesting that it was not also stolen. An empty silverware box. It appears that the intruders have stolen the contents. These wine bottles are expensive and mostly from France. A bottle of wine is missing here. The criminals did not thoroughly ransack the house. They only took a little silverware. The hunting scene. A deer hunt. A fur trader's cabin. The Brackenstall family appear to be preoccupied with hunting. Quite a large stick, a formidable weapon. Barefoot, he had therefore been in bed and did not have time to fully dress. That must be the murder weapon. The head was cracked with the force of the blow. It is covered in blood. Sir Eustace might have struck his head upon it while falling from the blow. That is one possible explanation. that the bell rope was cut by someone taller than me.
The death was instant. This door leads to the upstairs bedrooms. Apparently, the criminals did not venture there. I've searched outside for footprints without any luck. There are three glasses on the dining room table. I was wondering if... Oh, I forgot. When I came to myself the first time, each of them had a glass in his hand. They might have been a father and his two sons. They talked together in whispers, and then they left. Your ladyship? Oh, what a horrible... Please leave my Mary alone. She suffered so... 